Hey there, everybody. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. Um, you know, thank you so much for subscribing. I have so many new subscribers, I don't even know how to shake a stick at it. Uh, usually I make videos a little quicker, but I've just got, like, two truckloads of stuff and uh, cram them into my tiny room here where I keep all my antiques and stuff. So it's just really havoc to, like, get in the room at all right now. So... I'm still in the process of cleaning and organizing a ton of stuff, and I just haven't been making videos as often as I should, and uh, I apologize. So, just so you know, we have a ton of stuff to talk about. Uh, like, seriously, words cannot express how many things we are soon going to get to talk about. <laughs> I wish I could tell you that there was, like, you know, less, but there's there's more than I could possibly oh anyway let's talk about this rooster real quick this prismatic uh, um, you know another word for a rooster <laughs> anyway uh, this rainbow bantam so this fellow is actually pretty cool I really like him he's a uh, I probably should have locked my exposure I apologize for what it's gonna do but with this white background and uh, various things like around. I thought it was gonna mess with us anyway. So anyway, here we are. This is a uh, piece of art glass no matter where it's from. But I see one sold on the internet as a uh, piece of Murano glass. Mine actually has a sticker that says uh, it's upside down obviously. It says Murano Steely di Arti <laughs> okay okay so I mean even not speaking Italian I think we can discern that that says Murano style art whatever Crystalleria is probably glass right <clears throat> so the labels a little misleading because it says Murano kind of big but what it actually is is a Chinese piece and uh, yeah it just says you know Murano style art on it so it's a little, you know, I understand if somebody made a mistake and sold this as a Murano piece. I won't be doing that, obviously, because uh, it is actually made in China, I do believe. So yeah, that's just kind of a, just kind of a neat little thing I learned today. So beware, look at stickers, um, try and understand what they say, you know, try and, try and figure it out on your own, you know, you don't always need Google Translate, I mean... Murano steel de art that's that's pretty close to style de art and I didn't even Google translate that I'm just pretty sure we're there um there's so many things that I'm gonna get to show you soon do you want to see something amazing <laughs> that's fluorescing because of a black light this tiny little blue dolphin here is one of the shiniest boys I've ever seen you believe that? Isn't that amazing? Woo! <laughs> I'm sure my camera enjoyed that. Oh, this beautiful Ellie Smith dancing ladies. Goodness gravy. Somebody somebody claimed that pretty quick there. Let's see, uh let's see if we can't just look at her a little bit. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm sorry about the exposure, obviously this is going to mess with it, but I think I needed it to be able to adjust itself for this video, because there's a lot of weird lighting and stuff going on, so so I apologize for the weird up and down on that, but I think to be able to see it, we're going to have to let the camera do what he wants. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Whew! Goodness! Goodness gravy! So again, you know, I mean, just uh, just use all your context clues. That's not a bad looking piece of glass at all. I understand if anybody thought it was Murano, but it's just not. And uh, you can decipher that pretty quickly. So so yeah, this is Austin, Best Second Forty Antiques channel. Always trying to let us look at something beautiful, whether it's uh, misrepresenting itself or whether, whether it's an outright fraud. <laughs> hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it, and hopefully I'll never sell anything to anybody that's, uh, you know, uh, misidentified. This is Austin, Best Second of 40 Antiques channel. Pleasure to have everybody. Super nice to have you. Oh, if you're still here, let's talk about something really important before we go. Um, 
You yeah. know the movie from the early 2000s? It was called Robots. It had Robin Williams and uh, I think like Jude Law and stuff in it. I just watched it a bit ago. And um, <laughs> I just wanted to say as an adult male that uh, you're allowed to watch cartoons if you want to. But if the cartoon has a Tom Waits song in it, that lends uh, so much credibility to any movie. Uh, if if a movie has Tom Waits in it, then it's just a good movie. It, that's a fact. So yeah, this is Austin educating you again <laughs> on the important stuff. <laughs> we'll see you later.